what we want to do here is raise all the screws or lower them to be just under half an inch, I mean just under a quarter of an inch. Do that for all the screws in the whole pad. Okay, what I have here is uh, two lengths of four phone cord, it's two actual cables, because uh, each of these have six strands in it, and uh, you're going to need two strands for each arrow panel, so that would make eight. The length of these is about, each of them is about twice the length of the pad itself. If you across the pad it's a little bit longer a few inches longer than the length of the pad and this will give you enough to go around one panel once and go through the uh, through the pad to the other side and have extra okay the next thing we want to do is strip the, uh, the shield and pull all this off we'll have uh, individual strands now Once you have the, all the screws at about the right height, we are going to just take one of these long pieces of wire that we cut earlier and strip one end off. And we're just going <coughs> to wrap this around the screw here. Okay, now we're just going to measure it out to the next. To, to the screw after the next and cut it off with a little bit of room extra okay now we're going to strip the end off of the that wire we just cut and wrap it against that screw And now we're going to just go from this screw and skip this one and go down here. And we're just going to go every other screw for this wire all the way around. Okay, now I've finished going around all these around or at least half the screws, every other screw with the black wire. Now I'm going to feed it through this through the hole in this 2x4 and the hole in this 2x4. Okay after you fed it through this top 2x4 uh, into the up arrow we're going to feed it through there's a little hole here to this left top panel here. We're just going to feed it in there. Eventually we're going to have the controller in there and it's going to connect to the controller. Okay with the yellow wire we're going to connect it to the, all the screws that the black wire did not connect to. It should be every other one, half of them. And when it comes back around to this one we're going to also feed it through this hole and go just where the black wire did. Okay took me a while to heat up my soldering iron but it's hot now I'm going to put some uh, solder around each of these contacts around the whole, on all the whole pad so that uh, I can use um, some pliers to crimp them down because sometimes they'll get a little loose and stuff but with the uh, solder that's kind of soft you can actually crimp it down onto the screws pretty good and they'll stay there okay I've got all the wires on all these, they're all running up underneath here and through here and to underneath here. And 
Uh, I've got solder around all the wires at the screws so now we can crimp them all down make sure they have real good contact to those screws because those screws are going to what uh, causes directional arrows to actually trigger. Uh, we're, we need to fit these pieces of plexiglass really well make sure that they are loose even when the corner brackets are placed in and the, for instance these right here these are not actually going down this corner here is a little bit too big so we am going to trim these down a little bit make sure that they get in there nice and easily okay when trimming all you're really looking for is to be able to move vertically easily see right now it's rubbing against these two sides here uh, look for when you put these these corner brackets in the edge of the corner bracket might rub up against the uh, plexiglass, the edge of the plexiglass, so you might have to trim those down a little bit. Um, and just make sure it doesn't rub up against anything just vertically when you're pushing it down. Make sure it doesn't rub up against anything, any of these edges. But you want it to be as close of a fit as possible. Okay, I like to stack both pieces of plexi together when I trim so that they're both trimmed the same way. And this corner here, I have a lot to trim off, so I'm just going to use the jigsaw so that I can get it off uh, rather quickly. Okay, to trim this, I'm just going to have the blade on the very edge here and just run along it and cut as we go. Okay, this is moving much better now, vertically, uh, but I still see, notice a little bit of rubbing going on here, so I'm going to trim that a little bit. Okay, so to trim this a, a small amount, then you use the surfform and go across. Okay, now we've got this working pretty well. Vertically, it's perfect. Uh, we can even move the plexi around just a little bit however you see notice at the corners here there's like a little edge that comes out here and there's some edges near the corners where the corner braces are going to have a little trouble so we're going to cut those down a bit so the corner braces will fit nicely now to finish trimming this this arrow here I've marked little areas here where we can trim these a little bit for the edges of the corner braces so that they won't catch. This bottom side here, <coughs> I just took a ruler and made a line across from one edge of that corner to the other edge of this corner because that is going to stick out a little bit if I don't trim it. Okay, now I have all that trimmed, it fits pretty nicely, has a little bit of movement, <coughs> and the corner braces fit real nice now. So uh, that arrow is done, arrow panel is done as far as trimming. And go ahead and trim the rest of the arrows. I finished trimming the, pa the uh, acrylic panels. Um, they are all uh, semi loose just a little loose but at the same time not too loose they move very well loosely uh, vertically they all are the same way okay, after you have your, your panels fitted and uh, working really well in your arrow wells you don't want to get the orientation of them mixed up so what I do is I label them and I, I label them as if you're standing from the back of the pad looking towards the top 
and just label them depending on which arrow, up, down, left, right. And this way, because of the you read them left or right, uh, you won't, you're not going to get them flipped over or disoriented. I have the, the bottom piece labeled as the bottom piece. This way you won't get them flipped and you won't get them oriented in different ways. They're going to stay the way they are. Okay, what we've got here are the loose side panels that we're going to apply the graphics to. Um, this is uh, an older pad I have uh, that I'm just using as a table right now. Um, okay, so what we have here is the north symbol for the up arrow. <coughs> so we're going to flip this over. And this is the second piece that lies underneath, so we don't need to mess with that. Um, let's go ahead and move these out of the way. Okay, um, my graphic here is mirror imaged. It applies to this side, and this is this side would be if I have it this way would be correct facing up. So this is mirror imaged. So I need to apply this to the back of the top panel. If you just get a normal one, you can apply it to the top of the lower panel. But <clears throat> this is how I'm doing it now. Um, you can actually have these printed on normal paper and then just stick them between the panels, use uh, some double-sided tape or something, and glue it down to the bottom panel so that it won't move. And you can do that with the normal DDR arrows as well. Or you can actually probably find some sort of um, sign making company and have those normal arrows printed onto the panels themselves. All right, so um, first thing we need to do is peel off the protective covering on the bottom of the panel. And so now we just have the protective on the top, which makes it that blue tint. Okay, so I'm going to clean off this panel real quick. Make sure it's nice and clean before you apply the graphics. Next, we slowly pull off the backing to our graphics here. Okay. Okay, now that we have the backing of this peeled off and the plexiglass cleaned, we can go ahead and uh, start to apply it. Um, because this has an adhesive on it, it's kind of sticky. If you just put it down, then you're not going to be able to get out the bubbles and, and if you misalign it, then it's stuck that way for good. So we use Windex to make sure that we can get it in place before it dries. So just go ahead and give a good covering of Windex there. We can uh, use kind of a squeegee to, uh, I, this is actually my uh, student card from when I was attending college. Any sort of card will work. Get the excess off of here. Okay, now I can apply the blue site to the graphic. And <coughs> just line it up by eye at first. the Windex on there and we flip the graphic and we flip the uh, piece we're gonna really squeegee it hard now to try and force out all the bubbles So 
So there it is. It's been applied. It's been squeegeed. There are no bubbles that I can see. And we can turn it over, set it somewhere, and let it dry. Okay, so we've got one applied. Go ahead and repeat that for all the graphics.